Hey guys, I just want to share with you real quick before you see this video. Ahav and I just got back from Canada. We were in Windsor, Ontario, Canada for three days. We were ministering and we were at Grace Ministries. And I just want to uh, thank Pastor Larry, Pastor AJ, Pastor Joe and their families and, and all the congregation at, at, uh, that, that we're, we were ministering to. We, were, we had the opportunity to share our experiences and, and how the Lord uses us and share the word also. And it was just amazing. It was an, an incredible time. Uh, we were out on the streets also. It, it was uh, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, and we were out on the streets for a couple of hours each day also. Not too much on, you know, only a couple of hours each day. But uh, it, it was uh, in the in the church, we were, uh, it, it was incredible. A bunch of people got touched by the power of God. Uh, there was a lady that came up after the first service and testified that as I was bringing forth the Word of God and sharing my experiences on the power of love of God, that the power of God started coming on her uh, because she had been subject to the attack of cancer on her body. And the power of God came upon her and started bringing life and heat to her dead hands. Her hands were dead and cold and and heat started, you know, they started warming up and heating up and life started coming on and pain started going away. And it, and her, she started feeling the power of God all through her body. And uh, it was amazing testimony. And it's like we just, it was happening when, when the word was being, being uh, brought forth. And then also there was a lady that, who's uh, almost totally deaf ears popped open. And, another, and her brother also had one ear that was almost totally deaf that popped open. And a bunch of other things happened. Ahava was ministering, healing to many, many people. And she's got some footage also that she's going to put uh, on, uh, that she's going to load up also. And uh, so it was incredible. And, and uh, before we, uh, one day before we went out, we were uh, praying uh, about what the Lord wanted to do. And I was hearing like, uh, uh, I saw like a mask and like a streamer type thing that could have been either like one of those long balloons that they shape figures into or like an actual streaming type thing. And like I was thinking, because I was thinking like party store, and I was hearing the name Glenn or Glenda, and uh, and when we went out on the streets, we we come to this, we come into Windsor in, in downtown, and uh, there's this big party going on, <laughs> and Doug Collins was saying uh, that man, they never do anything like this down here. <laughs> you know, so there's this big party, and it's like children getting their face painted, you know, the mask thing. And there's balloons everywhere, and there's also one of these guy, one of the, these people are doing like these acrobats with the long streamer things that they 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 wrap themselves up in the rope and they start doing acrobatic things up in the air and all. It was amazing. I couldn't find the Glen or the Glenda though, but I actually didn't, I didn't really look hard enough for that. But uh, but that was a pretty accurate word, and there was amazing things that happened there. Many people got saved. It was incredible. We we and, and before Ahaba and I. We went on before going on this ministry trip. We were driving down the highway and we decided let's pray for it. It was the day before we went. Let's pray for this. And so a hobbit said, you know, she decided let's pray. So she starts praying. And the moment she gets done praying, we see a sign that says "Amazing Savings." You know, because she had asked for amazing healings. Amazing. The last thing she said was "Amazing Healings, Lord." And then, like a second later, we see a sign "Amazing Savings." And, uh, you know, like saving money, but we saw it as amazing savings. It was amazing, <laughs> you know, and so, and so that happened. A lot of people got saved. There were like, there were, uh, there was a Muslim that got saved, a couple of Hindus, a, a Buddhist. And then even, uh, as Doug and I were leaving through the border, uh, the, from Canada into, into the U.S., the, the border patrol agent got saved. <laughs> he was like, he, he asked us, he, he Doug's waiting on the line. We get there, Doug's waiting on the line, and he decides to switch his line into another line. You know, and it turns out that the line he switched into ended up being a long wait. And we finally get there, and a Border Patrol agent asks us who, what we do, how we know each other. And Doug says, you know, from we know each other from the internet, you know, and, uh, and then he says we're both evangelists, like healing ministers and blah, blah, blah. And he, and he, goes, he starts to get inquiring about it. And uh, so, like, we were sharing with him, and we led him to the Lord. He, he, we were there for like thirty minutes. He, there was a line of cars backed up. He didn't, he didn't even care about that. He was like intrigued. You know, the power of God was coming on him. And he was asking questions, and he received Jesus as his Lord and Savior. It's amazing. And, and we actually, at the end of this video, you're gonna see a, a video from inside Windsor. But we also, Doug said, after we go through the border patrol, he goes, "Turn on the camera right now. Let's get a testimony while it's fresh in our minds." So, like, you'll see a little. 
testimony at the end there concerning that situation, right as we're going, uh, you know, after we leave the border through the border, border patrol, you know, so it was amazing. And I just want to also thank Doug Collins and his family, his whole family is so gracious and, uh, and generous and loving. And we're just like, we're just like the Hob and I are blown away by, uh, the experience and, and just like how amazing it was. So, so we, we give all the praise, glory and honor to Jesus Christ. You know, to God the Father through Jesus Christ, His Son, and so uh, check out this video of a, of a young man who uh, who is an Indian man who just wasn't didn't believe in Jesus, and uh, and just watch what happens. Amen. And also, what and before you go there, let me show, I'll show you that uh, before we go there, I'll show you the sign. You know, watch this little clip of the amazing savings, and I'll go into that video. Okay, so Hop and I are driving along the day before going to Canada, and she says, "Let's pray now for the outreach." She prays in, for amazing healings, and then right after she's done, like a second after she's done praying, we see this sign right here. Let me pull up the word. Amazing savings. You see that sign up there? Amazing savings. It's like the moment she got done praying and saying at the end of the prayer, amazing healings, we see that sign. <laughs> My, my name is Tom. This is my wife Ahaba. This is Doug and Donna. We we pray for people and they get healed. Which one of you guys has pain and need God to heal you? Pain somewhere. Who has pain? Which one of you guys has pain somewhere? You need God to heal you. Yeah, you do. You got pain somewhere. You can tell. Yeah, where's the pain? In your back? No, I don't have any pain. No pain anywhere? No. Really. See you? No. Any allergies? What do you guys do? No, never. Okay, but short, you're, you're short-sighted? No, not exactly, but uh, it's like uh, to make it uh, more perfect. Like, I have like little bit. Uh, uh, I can... Do you believe in Jesus? <laughs> no, I don't believe in Jesus. You're Muslim? Huh? You're Muslim? No, I'm Indian. You're Indian, so what is your faith? It's like I believe in only one God. Right, right, right. Amen. Jesus, we believe Jesus is that God. We believe Jesus is that one God. You need to get saved. So like, so like, there's anything. Well, what about like the chapter two? Do you have any have a soreness there? Is there like tender there? No, no, it's like uh, I'm working uh, like uh, a company and uh, I'm like, uh, like uh, like uh, over there. Yeah. yeah. So you didn't go about neck pain or anything like that? Or just... Is there anything in your life causing you stress? Is there anything you're like stressing about? Like your mind? Uh, no, when we have exams, then we have like a lot of stress. Okay. Yeah, I've got a... Uh... You know, when we Jesus is the Prince of Peace, so you can actually hear Jesus' blood Boy, bad timing here. <laughs> well, we want to encourage you to believe in Jesus. All right? We want to pray for you for peace, all right? The, the, the Lord will reveal himself to you. So, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that you'll reveal yourself to him, Lord, to show him, Jesus, that you're the one and only God. You're God in the flesh. You came from heaven. Your Father sent you. You're the Savior of the world. So help us believe in Jesus' name. Peace. Peace, peace, peace. Because Jesus loves you. He's a prince of peace. I just felt that right there. He's a prince of peace. You feel something going on? Yeah. Relaxation. Are you feeling relaxation? Yeah. Alright, more peace, more peace, more peace in Jesus' name. Jesus has already died for your sins. He took the penalty for your sins because there had to be a sacrifice for sins. Because you're not good enough to get to heaven on your own merits. And so Jesus paid the price for your sins. He died and he rose again from the grave because he never committed any sins. He was a perfect sacrifice. That's the hope of the Christian. It's a gift. It's the grace of God. You can't earn your way to heaven. So Jesus is the grace of God. And so you say, yes, I want your grace, which means, yes, yes I want your Jesus. I, God, I want your Jesus because I want your grace. Did you yes, get I, it? Yeah. yeah yes, you, you I want your grace. Amen. Amen. So, so Amen. you want Jesus? Yes, I want your grace. Yeah, say, 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 Father in heaven. Father in heaven. And I'm, and I'm having you repeat it because words are very powerful. God hears your words, all right? So, Father in heaven. Father in heaven. I believe you sent Jesus. I believe in Jesus. That, that he's the savior of the world. That he's the savior of the world. That he died for my sins. He died for my sins. And I'm experiencing his peace right now. And I'm experiencing his peace right now. And I repent. And I repent. Of going my own way. Of going my own way. 
and I ask you to save me. I put your trust, I put my trust in you, Jesus. And I will pursue the knowledge of you. I'll read the Bible. And I'll find out about you. And I'll serve you. Amen. Amen. God bless you, brother. Amen. Give me a hug. Everyone, photograph with you? Yes. Amen. Yeah. Let's take... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Amen. Oh, it's now time to record. You got to put it on camera. You can take it. Manfred. Manny. Manny. I'm Tom. Yeah. Right. Praise the Lord. Manny. Manny is very faithful, and Jesus loves him. Amen. <laughs> Jesus loves you. What's your name? Ravni. Rav. Ravni, Ravni, Ravni. Okay. Amen. You know, uh, Praise the Lord. Many, you know, in the Bible, there's the Old Testament and there's the New Testament. And in the oh, yeah. Old Testament, you know, they were doing animal sacrifices every year oh. to, as a, you know, for the sins, to pay for the sins. But then Jesus came along because at that time they were ruled by the law. And Jesus came along and he was known as the perfect sacrifice. He was known as the, the Lamb of God. And when he came, he walked into the crucifixion to take on all your sins, everyone's sins, so that you wouldn't have to carry it. So it was an incredible strategy that that was planned by God, you know? Amen. It's a gift. It's, a, it's an awesome gift. And you've heard of the Trinity? This is the Father, God, and there's Jesus, who was God who came in the flesh, and the Holy Spirit. You know what happens when you take Jesus as your Lord? When you when you claim Jesus as your Lord, then the Holy Spirit comes to live inside. And He already you. has. He already has because of what you did. And it just happened. You took Jesus as Lord, and the Holy Spirit now comes to live inside of you. And when the Holy Spirit comes to live inside of you, you are now given the power and authority to, to come to Jesus. So when Jesus was alive, He was doing miracles. He was doing food multiplication. He walked on water. He was healing the sick. He was raising the dead. And he said that you will do greater things than I. Yeah. Do you know that you can lay hands on him now? Yep. And in Jesus' name, command the sickness to go? Yep, yep. Anything in him? And because you've taken Jesus' right. blood, you have that power. That's right. And as you go deeper and you take, read the Bible, he's going to show you more. And do more. And, and 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 yesterday, my wife and I were driving down the highway. We saw a sign. We were praying about this. We were coming here to Canada and, and telling people about Jesus. And we saw a sign that said, amazing savings. Yes. You know, like savings, like you're saving money. But we related it to amazing savings, like being saved. So, like, this was an amazing savings. Like, we just walked up to you, God, and, and started telling you about Jesus. And said, you need Jesus. And then you felt the power of God. You felt peace, relaxing. And it was a sign that got your attention. And you got saved. And I know that that worked. Because God is so faithful. I felt it, and I know it worked. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Thank you. God bless you, brother. God bless you. God bless you. Yes. God bless you. Right. So Doug and I just came through the uh, the border, the Canadian border, into America. We're still here, and we led the border patrol agent it to Jesus. It was crazy. <laughs> it took half an hour. He stopped the whole line. Well, we talked to him. He was captivated, and uh, it turned out he had gone away from God. He was a Catholic. Went away from the Lord. And the Spirit of God dropped on him, and he sat there for half an hour and talked to us and ended up giving his heart to Jesus. <laughs> yes. And uh, he's visibly different after reaccepting the Lord, and we're so excited. I'm just excited. Thomas, Amen. Uh, thank you for coming to Canada. <laughs> Praise God. It's amazing. It's amazing how, like, at the very end of the three-day ministry trip in Canada... Where many people got saved, including you know, including a, a, a word from the Lord that would be amazing savings. We end up leading the border patrol agent to the Lord, and we Incredible. pray for him to be Woo! healed. Also, <laughs> praise God. See, look, we're going right now, Michigan, Lansing, all that. We're in America now, so <laughs> praise the Lord.